Hello everyone and welcome to the sacral and heart chakra flow. Focusing on our sacral chakra, which the color is orange. It is located about two inches below our navel and it is our place of creativity and of power. So more specifically, our sexual power. The next chakra we'll be focusing on is our heart chakra, which the color is green. And this is our place of love, not only love to ourselves, but to others. And this is located right at the center of our chest. We'll begin with a nice short meditation, finding a comfortable seat, either sitting on your heels like I am here, or you can come to a cross-legged position, placing your hands on your legs, palms facing up to accept energy, or palms facing down for more grounding. Begin by just connecting to your breath, following your breath with your mind, and grounding yourself in this present moment. Now coming into our flow, come to all fours and then sink your hips back to your heels for child's pose. As you take your next inhale, reach the right arm up. As you exhale, thread the right arm underneath your left shoulder, bringing your right ear to the mat. To release, bring the right arm back up to the ceiling and then bring the hand back down to the mat. For the other side, as you take your next inhale, bring the left arm up. And as you exhale, thread the left arm underneath your right shoulder. Left ear to the mat, getting a nice stretch to the outer shoulder and even the shoulder blade. Releasing by bringing that left arm back up and returning back to child's pose. Bring yourself back up to all fours, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And for some cat cows, inhale, look up. And as you exhale, gaze down towards your thighs as you round the spine. Inhale, arch the spine, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, round as you press the ground away. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. And exhale, round through the spine. Return to a neutral spine. And extend your left leg back, curling the toes, and rock yourselves forwards and backwards just to open up the muscles in the back of that leg. And then step your right toes on top of your left heel, lifting the hips up as high as you can get them to really, really accentuate that stretch on the back of your leg. And switching sides. Now bringing your left toes on top of your right heel, pressing the heel down towards the earth, breathing into the muscles in the back of your legs. Setting the foot back down, finding downward facing dog. As you inhale, come high onto the toes and round yourself forward into a high plank position as you exhale, soften the knees, arch the spine, and reach the hips back up into down dog. Repeating this a few times here to just warm up the spine.
and we meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the right leg up high. As you exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Go ahead and take this foot on top of your left thigh, creating a figure four, and set the foot and knee down to the earth for a pigeon variation and opening up the outer right hip. Inhale, bring that right foot to the outside of your left hand for fallen triangle as you reach the arm over the ear and lift the hips high. And then we're gonna swing that arm in some big giant circles, dropping the hips down as you bring the arm down. Doing this three times in one direction, and then three times in the opposite direction, just massaging that arm shoulder joint and opening up the heart. Placing the hand down, pause here for a moment in this IT band stretch to open up the outer right leg and then step the foot between your hands. Inhale, raise the arms up for a high lunge. And as you exhale, we're just going to pulse by bending that back knee and cactusing the arms and lifting. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend the arms and leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. And now we're going to take your left knee into your heart and then wrap that leg around your standing leg. Your left arm comes underneath your right arm and grab you your shoulders. And then inhale, lift the elbows up high. Exhale, drop the elbows down to that top knee. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower, crunch. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Go ahead and unravel the leg as you extend it backwards. And then set that foot down to the earth. Unravel the arms, reaching them back up into your high lunge. And as you exhale, set the hands back down to the earth. Step back into downward facing dog. Your next inhale, we reach the left leg up high. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Doing your best to keep your shoulders in one line as you do this. And sliding that left ankle on top of your right thigh this time. Figure four on the opposite side, setting the knees and hips down low. The left foot slides to the outer right hand as you reach the arm over the ear. Roll onto the inside of your back foot. We're gonna find those big arm circles going in one direction as you drop the hips low and lift. And then moving the opposite direction. Set the hand down to the earth, pausing here in this IT band stretch for that outer left leg. And then step the foot between your hands. Inhale, we raise the arms up high for that high lunge. And we're going to tap the back knee down to the ground as we cactus the arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Last one, exhale, lower. And inhale, lift. Go ahead and bring your right knee into your chest and then wrap the leg around your standing leg, bending into both knees. Maybe setting the toes of that right foot down to the earth if you need a little bit more help with balance. And once again, you're welcome to grab the shoulders as a variation with the hands. 
Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, drop the elbows down to your top knee. Inhale, reach up high through the fingertips. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Unravel the leg as you extend it back into this Warrior Three variation. And as you exhale, set the foot down to the earth for your high lunge. Once you ground through the legs, you can unravel the arms, reaching them up high. And on your next breath out, set the hands down to the earth, framing the front foot, and step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, high into the toes, and as you exhale, set the knees down to the earth. Bring your forearms down to the earth and extend the feet back into a forearm plank. And we're going to swing the hips from side to side. Maybe the hips touch the ground, or maybe they don't. What's important here is that you keep the core engaged. And there's also a variation that you can see in the top corner, keeping the knees down on the ground if you like a little bit more support. Now finally, returning the hips back down to the earth for Sphinx Pose. You're welcome to keep the forearms grounded, or you can lift the elbows if you like more of a back bend. Press the tops of the feet into the earth and relax the glutes. Slowly bring yourself back down if you lifted the elbows. And we're going to bring ourselves back up onto all fours and flip ourselves onto the back, bringing the knees into the chest to massage the lower back from that back bend. Bring your feet to the ground for reverse plank. Taking your hands behind you, fingertips facing forward. You have two options to keep the knees bent or you can extend the legs. And we're just gonna alternate bringing one knee into the chest and then the other knee into the chest. And finally, relax the hips back down. Give yourself a little massage on the legs or the arms. And then we're going to bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. You can keep the feet away from you or for more intensity on the hips, you could bring the feet closer towards your pelvis. Press the elbows into the inner thighs. And as you inhale, lengthen through the spine. Option to stay here or to round yourself forward. Forehead to toes. Inhale, bring yourself back upright. Bring your knees in together and extend the legs out in front of you for Paschimottanasana. Get the flesh off from underneath your sits bones. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, fall forward. 
gripping the outer edges of the feet. As you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round forehead to knee. Continue to reach the toes back towards your face to keep the backs of the legs active. And then allow the head to just completely relax towards the knee. Inhale, slowly round yourself back upright. Take your hands behind you again for reverse plank or reverse tabletop. And as you exhale, sit the hips down, extending the legs out to the side for a straddle. Flex or point the toes to keep the legs active and reach over to one side. Inhale, bring yourself back up. And exhale, reach over to the opposite side, arm over ear. Inhale brings us back to center. This time face your other leg and we're going to twist into somewhat of a half split variation and then fold forehead to knee. Inhale, brings us back to center, and we fold over the opposite leg. Inhale, brings us back to center. Flex or point the feet once again to reestablish the engagement in the legs. Sit up nice and tall with a straight spine and start to hinge at the hips and fold forward, keeping your back as straight as possible.
slowly walk yourself back up to an upright position. Soften the knees gently and bring the legs back together slowly. Once again, massaging through the legs, the hips, the knees. And now bringing yourself to lie on your back into Shavasana. Corpse pose, bringing the feet out as wide as your mat, palms facing up. Just to settle yourself and ground yourself first. And then you're going to take your left hand to your heart and right hand to your navel. As you enjoy this sound bath for your heart and sacral chakra.
Thank you so much for joining me for this heart and sacral chakra flow and sound bath. I hope that this class gave you the energy, but also the peace that you were looking for. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next class. Namaste.